Hi there, my name is Dr. Ian Rassel. I'm a chiropractor in Escondido, California. I've been in practice over six years. My specialty is spinal biomechanics. What I want to review with you today is understanding the normal and abnormal curvatures in the spine. You need to understand back to front our spine should be straight and from the side we have three unique curves. A curvature in the neck, mid-back, and the lower back. Today I want to focus on the curvature in the lower back, the lumbar lordosis, which should be anywhere between 50 and 60 degrees, some sources citing 55 degrees. The purpose of this curvature is to dissipate weight as well as withstand gravity. Now, lights off for me please. This is an x-ray showing the side view of a lower back and we notice the curvature in the spine here is 57.5 degrees. We notice the disc spaces between the bones. These are the shock absorbers. This is another side view of the lower back and lumbar spine, this time wearing a load-bearing vest with equipment in. And we can see that the curve increased from 57.5 degrees to 59. So we had a one and a half degree curving increase in extension, meaning we're going this way, a degree and a half, with the load-bearing vest. This last x-ray shows us dramatically difference. This is a 72 degree curvature. So we can see even more curvature in the lumbar spine, placing more force and more load on the bottom two discs and vertebra, including the joints and the disc spaces. This x-ray was taken wearing a utility belt. So it's very obvious for me to see that wearing the utility belt we can see an increase in curvature which places an abnormal load on the spine. Thank you.